hi uh, today let's talk about so what is the precedence constraints or how the tasks are connected in ssis the answer is so precedence constraints will help us to connect the tasks in the ssis so precedence constraints will enable us to connect the tasks in a logical manner which they are going to execute and so and precedence constraints will help us to define the workflow of a ssis package in the control flow and the output or the input of the precedence constraints is dependent on the previous task or the initial task so here precedence constraints plays a very important role in ssis to execute the package or to to run a package in a orderly manner how to connect the two tasks in ssis let me show you in the ssdt sql server data tools so if you see i have a two tasks so don't bother about what tasks are doing now so i have two tasks task 1 and task 2 let me show you how to connect these two tasks in between so let's select the task 1 and once you select the task 1 so there is a green arrow you can see here so let's click on the green arrow so once you click on the green arrow it converts into a dotted line so now if you want to connect task 1 and task 2 then take the dotted line see the dotted line comes along with your mouse so hover the task 2 and click on it so now if you see this task 1 and task 2 are connected with a green arrow now this green arrow is going to call it as a precedence constraint so this precedence constraint will help us to execute the task in a orderly manner so if you see now so once a task 1 is completed then only it goes to task 2 so will task 2 run without a task 1 success yes there are some scenarios you can say even though task 1 fails you can run task 2 but first it starts with a task 1 then it goes to task 2 either success or failure so you you can control the precedence constraint as well so by keeping true or false so we'll talk about that how to set the expressions to the precedence constraints in the next video so thank you for watching